Hey guys, Atheist Brooks here, coming at you with yet another video and another review. Um, and this time I'm gonna be looking at the um, the perk machines and the pack a punch all from x 9 brickcustoms.com. He's a um, he's a very um, he's a very awesome person. Um, if you guys saw my um, unbought my latest unboxing review, you guys would know that I got these. And so yeah, go check him out. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel and his um website in the description below. All right. So, anyways, um, let's get, um, started. Alright, so, each one costs 15, each, um, perk and the pack punching, they all cost $15. And all of them together, um, if you got the, um, the package, they all cost $60, so that saved you, like, $15 or something like that. Um, so, I mean, you guys may find that expensive, but these are really high quality products, and I am, from my knowledge, you the first person to make, um, the, the, the perk machines and whatnot. And he um he released these just in time for Black Ops Three. In fact, I got Black Ops Three. Um, upon release, I got Black Ops. It, I don't remember what it came like a week or two ago. I got I got it the day it was released. I bought it virtually on my Xbox One. Um, but yeah, so I bought it. You know, I got it at nine o'clock, and so I mean, my brother we immediately started playing it. Um, zombies, zombies, hockey, and hanging with. A good friend of mine, and his younger brother, and his older brother. What well, those are pretty much the words that can easily describe my entire that and Lego can describe my entire childhood. So um, that's really that. Um, lots of hockey. <laughs> Anyways, so um, uh, so I align these perks. I'll you know, um, I'll tell you which perk I might, well. I align these perks, which um, by my opinion, you know, um, most important. To at least important, and then of course pack a punch. You know, it's pack a punch, and it's not technically a perk. Some people can argue. Some people do argue that speed cola is more important than quick revive, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I'd say um, quick revive is more important than speed cola. Doesn't matter how many players you have, it's still more important. But anyway, so we'll start with um, Juggernog, and this is Juggernog. This is actually what it looks like. Um. You know, it's got drink juggernaut. It's got the symbol right there, with the um, the red cross. Sorry if you heard something. That's part of my cat knocking something down, along with the bullet going across it. This is juggernaut, ten cents. I mean, this is like nineteen thirties, nineteen forties. So back then, sodas cost like ten cents and five cents. So that is historically accurate, and plus this is also um accurate to the actual machine in um in zombies. So um yeah. And then also these are well for one thing printed, but they're also very nicely printed. Um, as you can see here, you know, they're nicely aligned and whatnot. Um, here's a good example. Right there, you guys can see. You know, they're perfectly. They're of course all printed, but they're all perfectly aligned, and so you don't have to do any work except for just put them together if they fell apart in the um, in the um, in the mail. Anyways, so basically, Juggernaut costs um two thousand five hundred or twenty five hundred. Um, it costs twenty five hundred. Basically, what it did is um, uh, in Black Ops Three now it's different, but in original Zombies, um, it took two hits for a zombie to kill you, but with Juggernaut they made it so it took four hits for a zombie to kill you, and so that was really important, um, to stay alive in the game. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's Quick Revive, which is the second most important, by my opinion, and I'll explain why, is um. I'll tell you in a second. But anyway, so this is what Quick Revive look like. You know, these are all soda machines, of course. Um, so this is, uh, you know, you got the little leg stands right here. You got the coin dispenser and some blood. Very accurate. Nice looking. You even got the uh, the the blood handprint on there, which is accurate. And it says it's Quick Revive, you know, and the symbol of the um, person rising out of the corpse. Um, well, the, the person rising out of the grave. That's what it looks like in the back, nothing major. And so, um, yeah, and this is just like the other one. Uh, yeah, these are, you can see here, these, these are times two bricks, so it wouldn't be a good idea. Basically, Quick Revive costs 1500 And basically, what it would do is it made it so way, um, you revived everyone, you, you revived a teammate, like, a lot quicker. That's why it's called Quick Revive. And also, they implemented this in Black Ops 1, I think it was, in Ascension. Um, and basically, what Quick Revive do does, if you're playing single player, is um, if you got down, it would revive you. 
So you would be revived by yourself, but you can only buy it like three or four times or something like that. And so yeah, in my opinion, this is the second most important because if you're playing with a friend, Duri's per no no Shino Numa and Duri's are perfect examples. All right, let's go Shino Numa. Shino Numa is a perfect example. You know, it's a very close quarters map and it's a very hard map to play on, especially since there's no pack a punch. And it was the first half that they introduced perk machines. No no no, Verkt was. It's the first um map that they introduced dogs. Um. And so, um, you know, they introduced perk machines are rocked. But ba anyways, so basically, um, quick revive is so important in, um, Shinonuma because it's just such a close quarters map, and there's, like, months where that, that slows you down. If your teammate gets down, you basically just gotta train the zombies, and then you just gotta quickly outrun them, and then go and quickly revive your teammate, and that's pretty much the best way you could revive your teammate. So that's that. That's why I find it the second most important. Third most important, by my opinion, is Speed Cola, um... And, you know, um, they joke in every single, um, every time, um, one of the characters buys it, um, they says it tastes like fish, except for, um, Takio, since he's, um, Japanese, um, but anyways, they joke about that tastes like, that tastes like fish, since it's actual soda, and actual soda does not taste very good, if you've ever had actual soda before, uh, like, just plain soda. But anyways, this is what it looks, it's got, it kind of has, like, the Pepsi, um, the old Pepsi kind of look, it's got the, um, these, um, the soda, I guess, the soda, um, dispensers, and basically, you know, you put the coin in, you know, and you just pick one out, right, and so they, and they had their options to buy, and this is accurate, especially the, these vents right here, these are accurate, it says, drink speed cola, remember the theme song, speed cola, like Mexican, Mexican accent, I guess, and is this just like Juggernaut and Cook Revive, you know, it's, Printed out, you know, it's perfectly printed out as you can see. Um, that wasn't a good example. Here you go. It's um perfectly printed out, you know. Um, it's all printed out and it's per and it's printed out like just perfectly, and so um it's really nice and all. And this is historically well, not historical. It's technically, none of this is historically accurate. But um to the game, when I say historically accurate, I mean to the game. It's got green, the white, and the red um letters. This is accurate to the game. And so, um, that's really that. Um, basically what Speed Cola did is it costs, um, three, um, three, three thousand points, um, to buy. And the reason why I didn't find it so important is because basically what it did is it just made it so way you, um, you, um, you, you rebuilt barriers, you, um, bought and drank, um, other perks faster, you reloaded faster. Um, yeah, you bought and drank perks faster, you, you loaded faster, you, you rebuilt various faster, you, um, bought, you basically just did everything faster except for firing. And so that's why I just didn't find it as important, um, especially if you're gonna be a team, if you're, you know, if you're just being that one douchebag who's camping, um, you know, then speed cool is a perk for you, but if you're gonna be like a team player, you'd, I'd rather buy quick revive. And the last one, and this is definitely the least important, um, by anyone's standards, is the um double tap double tap root beer um it's root beer of course and so um this is it just says double tap right there in like bronze kind of letters um and you've got these um these uh I don't know how it's uh, how to describe it but it's like um ventilation I guess I don't know and then you've got the um the coin slot right here and then this is where the soda would come out it says double tap root beer and it has two bullets like whizzing by each other that's a symbol it's a pretty simple design, it's just a box, and then you can see right here, you know, it's just like all the other ones, so that's not, that's not a good example. Uh, over here, you know, printed on perfectly, and this one's just, in double tap, it costs, ooh, 20, um, 2000, I believe it was, 2000 points. Um, and basically what Double Tap did, and that's why it's not so important, in my opinion, is because, um, it basically just made you fire faster. It just, it just made you shoot faster, which is why I didn't find as important, you know, and Double Tap can make some guns turn from really shitty guns into really good guns. Um, the M1 Carbine, great example, I use a lot, um, by Speed Cola, um, yeah, if you had, if you had the M1 Carbine, you had Speed Cola, and you had, um, Double tap, it would make the, carbi the M1 carbine like unstoppable, assuming they had a pack a punched. And so, um, that's just why I didn't find that was important because it just makes you fire faster and whatnot. And I just don't find it's important. On the last one, and this is probably the most, um, 
the most um, significant one um, zombies, the pack a punch machine. So basically, you got the um, the leg stands right here, which is accurate. You like the baby blue kind of color. This is actually accurate, and that's my favorite part. Um, it says no putting your hand in, and that's actually accurate to the machine. Um, you know, um, it says to not put your hand in on the actual machine, which I find that kind of um hilarious. So basically, you got the um the slot where you put your gun in, and then you got some tiling on the sides. You got some ventilation on the top. It says pack a punch, increase your firepower. And it's got the ray gun with like a bent um barrel, and it's like suddenly like brand new and stuff like that, and the barrel's straight. And basically, pack a punch it costs um five thousand points, so it's of course it's more expensive. And basically, it just it made um if you pack it, you could only pack a punch your gun, of course. Basically, what it would do is the name literally describes it. Um, if you would pack a punch, if you pack a punch your gun, it just makes it a lot better. Um, you know, pack a punch is necessary if you start to get to the higher rounds, like round twenty five or thirty. When you start to get to the higher rounds, pack punching is necessary. Um, and um, in Black Ops Two, I think it was introduced. Um, double pack a punching. We could pack a punch your. We could pack multiple. Uh, we could pack a punch your gun multiple times. Um, for example, um, with the STG-44, yes, under Reese, um, in Black Ops 3, they, um, they got rid of all the, all the wall guns that were there, like the Thompson, the STG-44, MP-40, they took out those guns, sadly enough, I don't know why, and they replaced them with the Black Ops 3 guns, but where the STG-44 was, next to the catwalk, is now the KN-44, which is essentially just an AK-74U, I always pack a punch that too, um, Blast furnace basically like every couple of rounds or so when I shoot it just makes it basically just makes it like a massive fire pit for like a couple of seconds and um so um yeah um anyways um my favorite map was Varrocked um that was my favorite map Varrocked because and Varrocked is just one of those maps where um you're gonna hate it at first but once you learn how to play it you're gonna love it but I, I personally liked Varrocked the most my um my favorite weapon was probably the STG44 great weapon um, and of course my favorite perk is Juggernaut and Quick Revive and Speed Cold Line and, um, Double Tap. And so that's basically, that's me, that's my opinion. Um, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Um, what's your favorite perk? What's, what's your favorite map? Um, and what's your favorite gun? Um, and why? Um, but, so, yeah, um, so that's really all I guess for the video. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment section below. If you like the video that you saw, hit that thumbs up button. And if you, um... And if you want to be informed when I upload a video, then punch that subscribe button. That helped me a lot. And, um, yeah, guys, so that's really all, I guess. Um, this is, um, and let me know, let me, guys, let me know again. What's your favorite map? What's your favorite gun? What's your favorite, um, perk? And why? And so that's really all, guys. Um, and I'd like to hear what your, um, comp what your feedback is. This is Atheist Bricks here, uh, signing off.